Hey guys, Jeff here, just enjoying a sunny day here in Chicago. And what I have here in my hands is the pre-production copy of Canvas. So I thought I'd unbox this and show you guys what's on the inside. But what this is, is um, it's a handmade copy by the manufacturer. And this is a close representation of what the machine made production copy will look like. So without further ado, let's crack this thing open and I'll show you guys what's inside. So this is, this is the box of the game, and right away, this box cover is absolutely breathtaking. Loving the fine detail. I don't know if you'll be able to see it um, so much in the, the video, but there is so much high quality detail in every brush stroke. It looks completely tactile, makes me feel like I can touch the paint. Um, there actually is a really nice linen finish that makes this feel like a, a real canvas. So that's really exciting. On the back of the box, um, you can see some of these game details and we got the little cutaway uh, for where you would hang the, the box on your wall. So that is all looking great. And of course this box opens like a drawer. So let's take a look at what we've got inside. So this is the updated rule, rule book, nice and big. And uh, thank you so much for all the feedback you provided. This uh, really made the rule book so much easier to read. And um, now we've got big, huge pictures, uh, very simplified, easy to understand rules. So this is all looking really great. Um, we are including both solo variants by popular demand. So we're really excited about that. We've had fun playing both of those. And then of course the unlocked scenarios with various setups you can play with and achievements. And you can kind of fill in these little paint blobs as you uh, achieve these, these uh, difficult goals. Here's the, the punch board, which has been upgraded thickness. It's a real nice thickness to it. Um, you get two sheets of these and um, the palette tokens and everything, real nice thickness to that and uh, got all the colors and yeah, this is, this is looking really great. We're really excited about these uh, punch tokens. Um, we've also got the wood tokens as well. So we'll give you a closer look at some of these. So um, they're screen printed to look very much like those punch board tokens. And um, these, are, these are real nice and tactile and easy to pick up. So we're excited about those. Um, the inspiration tokens, which are these palette tokens, have a uh, have all five of the colors on it now. So that's a nice upgrade uh, that we we threw in there at the end of the campaign. Um, so these will look just as nice as the uh, as the punch board ones visually, and they have that nice wood tactile sensation to them. Um, what else we got in here? We got the the rollout canvas mat. So this is um, this is a slight upgrade from the uh, the one we had before. We have a new stitching on the corner of the of the the board, and what this is is like it's a tighter stitch. So when you do have a uh, a card that you're pulling off of it, it doesn't catch so much on the the edge of the board. It slides off real cleanly due to that tight stitching. So that's a nice little upgrade. We are changing one thing about the board. We will be adding on the right side here. There will be a uh, indicator for the bonus ribbons, the gray ribbons. Um, I'll have a little designate a place to put them and show you how much, how many points those bonus ribbons are worth. So that's the board. Um, here we've got the deck box. We're really excited about this. So the deck box is not only a good storage solution for your cards, but uh, when you're playing the game, it actually better hides the cards that are coming up. And so you'll just be able to draw cards uh, from, from the deck box like so. The game will come with some extra sleeves. So here they've they've given us a, a little extra baggie of sleeves. Here are the finalized scoring cards. So these are looking really cool. They'll have updated artwork on the top of it. And in addition, we added clarifications and examples on the back of every card. So if mid-game you're, you're a little confused as to how something might score, um, you can always just flip that card right over and it'll tell you exactly um, uh, exactly how it scores. So these are all looking really awesome. We're excited to, to play with these. These are the award cards and the rule card that will come with the mini expansion of the game. These are like end game bonuses. And um, so what happens is you will play with one of these in each game. Uh, there's actually two different sides. You can play with a friendly or competitive scoring on these. So for example, this wants you to get five or more tone 
across all three of your paintings. But if you play with the, the blue paint side here, um, it's whoever has the most will get the, the victory point bonus. Uh, these did print a little bit darker than, than I, I would like. Uh, so that's one small change we're gonna make is we're gonna brighten these up a little bit. We're gonna make this font a little bolder and easier to read. Here's the background cards. Um, so we've got a wonderful variety of, of backgrounds here, very colorful and they're all different and unique. Um, so these are looking really great and I think they'll really bring all the artwork to life and bring even more variety into the game. And we've got the box tray here. Um, so you can see there's a nice place to put each of your components, shows you the most efficient way to pack it up. Uh, the weight will be distributed evenly, so if you do decide to hang it, um, you know it'll it'll hang evenly. So that's, I think, super helpful in, in, in many regards. But um, yeah, this is looking really great. And then I believe the last thing is uh, the easels. So we've received this, uh, this new easel design from the manufacturer. Um, this has gone through a lot of different versions and we've been improving it a lot. Uh, this is now the nice natural wood color. Uh, the only addition we want to make to this easel is we're going to have a nice little crossbar at the top, which not only will make it aesthetically look more like an easel, but it also will uh, really lock that leg into play, place once you uh, pull it back and then keep it real sturdy and firm and give it a little extra support for any cards that you uh, that you put on the easel. So we're, we're excited for that. Everything is looking really great. And um, there's, with just a few tweaks, we'll be ready to go. And thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them below and we'll be, we'll be happy to answer any questions. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe.